Have you finished your studies in Australia but still want to study there? Confused about which visa to apply next? So don't worry, we are here to help you to deal with this situation. Hello and welcome to Editrainix, your best guide for international studies. I am Nandini Watts and today I will be telling you about the migration program for students who finish their studies in Australia. But before that, if you want to know about the student visa, then you can watch our video on it, the link for which I'll put in the description below. And if you are fond of reading, then we have an article for this as well. Visit our website, you can read it on the blog, the link again you will find it below. So let's get started with the Temporary Graduate Visa Subclass 485. The Temporary Graduate Visa Subclass 485 is a migration program for students who finish their studies in Australia. So you can apply for this visa if you wish to continue living and living in Australia after your student visa expires. So this visa is temporary but you can apply for a permanent visa once you have worked in Australia for a few years. So if you wish to work in Australia, you may have to relocate to a regional region based on your studies. So uh, let me tell you that what is temporary graduate visa. So the temporary graduate visa is issued to international students who finish their studies in Australia and wish to work there. You can apply for this work visa just once. So you can stay in Australia only for a short time and work there. So for a 485 visa, there are two streams you can apply for. Post-study work stream and graduate work stream. See, post-study work stream allows you to stay between two to four years depending on your degree level. And during that time, you can work anything as long as it's related to your field of study. And you can also apply for a second post-study work stream visa that will allow you to stay for up to two or more years. So then you can apply for a graduate work stream visa if you want to work in an occupation that belongs to the skilled occupation list. To get this visa stream, your degree, diploma or trade certificate must be related to the job you want to work in. Now for the documents, make sure you prepare a copy of your passport pages with all the information details. Then the proof of your finished studies you will need to submit a letter of completion including the dates when you started your studies and when you finished your study program. Then a copy of your school transcripts with all your course grades. Unless you are from the United Kingdom, the US, Canada, New Zealand or the Republic of Ireland, you must submit proof that you have successfully completed an international English language test. So you must submit proof that you have valid health insurance during your stay there or that you are a part of Medicare. Then proof that you applied for a national police check and you must submit other documents that shows you are not involved in criminal activities. And please make sure that you also provide Form 80 and Form 1221 for additional information. After that, you are required to go through a skill assessment for your nominated occupation. This assessment must be submitted with your application. However, you only need a skills assessment for a graduate stream visa and not for a post-study work visa. So for your partner or spouse, you must provide copies of their identification documents, a copy of your marriage certificate if applicable, proof of your registered relationship and similar documents. So if you are taking a minor child with you, you must provide their birth certificate or a family book and either a parental consent form 1229 or a statutory declaration. So in case you have adult dependent children, you must submit proof of dependency and form 47A. Don't forget to include their identification documents. So if you are planning to apply for temporary graduate visa, graduate stream, you will have to make sure whether you are eligible for it or not. So to check this, you will have to be under 50 years of age. You should hold a valid student visa. You must have held a student visa six months before you applied for a 485 visa. So you are, and the last one, you received one of these degrees. And please know that if you have gotten your student visa either on November 5th, 2011 or after this date, then only you will be eligible for it. Anyone with a student visa issued earlier is not eligible to apply for a 485 visa. So after checking your eligibility, you can apply for the visa by applying online for a visa 485. 
you must have an email account to submit a successful application if you don't have one then you must open a new account you will get a step by step instructions on the online platforms on how to apply and also find a full list of the required documents that you must submit for your visa application so please make sure that you choose the visa stream very carefully when applying because you cannot change streams after you apply now once you have selected which visa 485 stream you are applying for you can continue with the next part of the application that is attaching your documents so for online application you must submit scanned copies of your original documents or scanned photocopies next to get your application processed you must submit the application fee or it will be declared invalid and you will get the option for payments in the email account so after payment submit the application and please make sure you apply on time and keep in mind that application should be submitted according to the australian eastern standard time now moving on to the next section of answering your queries visa 485 costs around 1680 australian dollars and if you apply for a second post study work stream you have to pay 660 australian dollars to so keep in mind that for every other applicant you bring with you there are our additional visa fees next is how long your temporary graduate visa is valid so it is usually valid between 2 to 4 years and this will depend on your visa stream and your qualifications so with a bachelor's degree you can stay for 2 years with a master's degree you can stay for 3 to 5 years and keep in mind that you cannot stay longer than that nor can you extend your stay with this visa so as i already said before that you can apply only once for this visa however if you had a post study work stream you can apply for a second post study work stream visa a second post study work stream visa is valid for another 2 years and you must apply for the visa from the beginning and pay an application fee The next question that comes up is if you can bring your family members with you on a 485 visa so yes you can apply for a 485 visa with your family members however they must be close family members such as your spouse partner children or grandchildren keep in mind that family members over 16 must also meet the character requirements now here's the bonus section about new rules regarding 485 visa So due to the situation with the covid pandemic some concessions may apply to this visa for example the time you spent during the online classes will be counted as a part of your study requirements so to prove that you are affected by covid you must attach this completed form 1545 which should be completed by your education provider so that is all about temporary graduate visa stream i hope this video will be of great help to you So in case of any further questions you can ask in the comment section below and if you need any help or assistance to apply for the visas feel free to contact on the given number we will be happy to help for any update you can check on the official website the link will be given again in the description box below.